Welcome everybody, I'm the Urban Watcher and this is a tutorial for how to set up MooBot. Now in case you don't know what MooBot is, um, it is a little automated bot that you can add to your Twitch feed in order to help you regulate, uh, deal with spam, deal with unruly viewers, that type of thing. Uh, this tutorial, this brief overview tutorial, is part of a my uh, larger How to Become a Streamer series. Um, if you're interested in becoming a streamer, uh, check out some of my other videos on uh, to look at what type of programs or applications that you might need to be able to do it, how to how to configure those applications, and some a little bit more advanced things like how to create overlays for uh, for your broadcasting for Twitch. Uh, in this one, we're going to talk about what is MooBot, where to get MooBot, and look at some of the features that it can add to your channel. Uh, adding something like a bot to your channel is a benefit to you in, in, a, in a couple ways. One, um, it it allows it takes care of some of these surface level um, problems that might arise in your channel. So if you ever get to the point where you're, you're having viewers come in and out. Um, and you're you're building a following. You're 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 getting a lot of views. Well, on occasion, you're going to run into the one or two of the off-ball viewers who like to troll uh, or post links and advertise their own channel. Uh, things that you might not want to be available in your channel, and you need to be able to have control of that. But maybe you're playing a game. Maybe you're actually recording something, but you don't don't have uh, the time to stop right then and there and take care of it. Well, first of all, you it might, it's also a good idea to to recruit a friend or two, if you get to that level to be to act as an admin. Uh, Moobot is uh, to uh, Moobot is that admin. They could handle some of the the top 10 uh, big pest problems that, that might be uh, that you might uh, face whenever you are starting to stream. So let's let me show you how to how to get to MooBot. You need to log into your Twitch account and on your Twitch account you can do a search for MooBot. And you will get information about MooBot. The one at the top is the MooBot uh, uh, page. If we go to the MooBot page, this is what it looks like. Okay, all the information that you need about MooBot can be accessed through this MooBot dashboard. Once you click on that, it's going to take you to the the main MooBot page, and here are some of the features. It allows you to uh, in, put in spam filters to protect you. Um, it also you can do instant polls. You can um, once you get a certain following. I know that on my channel, I have a, a handful of guys that come in and I'll be playing and they'll jump in and I don't mind when they link things or or I know they're not do, doing it to be uh, malicious or anything so you could actually um, link and, and identify these users as regulars and they might have special permissions that some of your other users don't they're people that you trust maybe they're not admins yet but you are giving them basic abilities you know that you trust that they're not going to spam your channel um, you can update your information on the fly using the MooBot um, you can create a custom command uh, list. There is a command list that you can use that it's kind of difficult, especially if you don't have them memorized and you don't really want to go through that entire process. Maybe you can you only care about using the top maybe three or four. You can use the custom command list as a quick reminder uh, in case you forget what those what those are instead of having to go through an entire list. Um, you can also do raffles. I know that a lot of streamers uh, take the time to give away like Steam games or copies of the games that they're playing. The bigger ones do that. They get free promotional uh, uh, things to hand out. So raffles are, 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 are a pretty big thing. Uh, owners, of course, you can give, um, that should really say admin, uh, you, should, you can give rights to your friends to be able to act as, as, as um, admins on your site in case they need to police it or take control of the MooBot. And also, if you're one of those streamers that you're wanting to have like repeating text, like when people come into your channel, hey, welcome, you know, or, um, you know, uh, no no spamming or a message or an email or recruitment message uh, you can you can have that uh, automated so where people can see that whenever you come in now once you actually connect uh, to connect to twitch is going to go walk you through the process 
of linking your Twitch channel to the MoveBot. You don't have to use this dashboard, but a lot of people do uh, tend to do it. So whenever you actually log in and you connect your, your account, you can put your username there and put permit, and that's going to bring up your user information. Once you're in the user information, you're going to need a couple codes. You're going to need a couple things. You're going to want to click exclamation, move bot, join. And what that's going to do is that's going to invite the move bot to jump into your channel and it's going to be present. What's it, uh, what's its presence? You can, you can, um, give it admin rights and once it has admin rights it can begin spam uh, doing spam protection and you have to en enable every single one of these options you want that are uh, to be unique to your to your chat now let's say that I jump I use X chat and I tend to jump from channel to channel to channel to channel uh, if I open up one window and go to another I'm, there's might be a case where I lose my move bot if I lose my move bot and I, I, uh, I want it to follow me uh, to my unique channel every single time, you're going to want to press exclamation, move bot, follow. And that's basically telling your, your move bot that every time I load into uh, your dashboard channel, um, that it needs to load up. And you notice that as soon as I did that, it gave you a list of commands that you could use. And these are not, I haven't customized these, these are the ones that are the default, but they're from last time I looked, there were probably over 150 commands and digging through that could be problematic and uh, you might not have the time to be able to do that. So you could actually customize this list to the top 10 that you actually want to be able to use. So let me show you where the command list. If you go in here and you press on the command list, you have to be logged into your dashboard through the MooBot um, uh, dashboard. And once you do that, it's going to show you a series of commands, and these are the ones that you're going to need to customize your channel. It's the one that you're going to need to be able to do raffles or uh, to do any moderations, uh, polls, okay? If you want to have a poll or if you want to custom toggle the message, you can actually change the title of your Twitch feed uh, if you're changing games without having to log out, go into Twitch, update the status, you can do all that from the chat channel on a second screen without having to uh, log into Twitch at all. Um, so these that's basically the overview of that. If we were to go to back to my home channel and we were to check out the chat, I would, let me show you the uh, the guest, the viewer list in here. Right now I have uh, I have two bots that I use. E each one of them kind of specialize in different things. The Moo bot is uh, is one of the big ones that's very thorough in controlling large crowds and I have the Nightbot and in here uh, you can you can run it so if I wanted to change the title of this and, and you notice it says tutorial how to set up uh, Moobot you could change it on the fly you can do a viewer list so you would use it in your chat using the exclamation these commands you would put in there and they would come up so this is how to add regulars how to add owners how to uh, it, use the uh, the spam filters so I would recommend anybody that wants to use um, to get a little bit more advanced and in, in their twitch feed to consider using something like a move bot or a night bot um, again I'm the urban watcher and this tutorial has kind of done an overview of what is move bot and how to add it to your account uh, this series this series this se um, episode is part of a larger uh, how to be a streamer series so check out those channels if it interests you if you like this video do me a favor hit um, subscribe, follow, uh, thumbs up, leave a comment. I really, uh, really appreciate that. It really helps other people uh, find this, uh, this video. So thank you very much. I am the Urban Watcher, and my uh, YouTube channel is The Zombie Professor.